Welcome to GCSE Physics. The purpose of this short video is to give you an insight into the magical world of physics and hopefully spark your curiosity. Firstly, we will look at what physics is, then what people who have studied physics might do, and finally look at the contents of the GCSE Physics course. You know all those questions you asked as a child, like, why is the sky blue? Why doesn't the earth fall into the sun as it goes around it? How is lightning made? How does a mobile work? And a million other similar questions. While all of those questions require a knowledge of physics to explain them, physics is often the answer to questions like, how does it work? Why does that happen? What does that do? We study physics to understand how the universe behaves from the smallest objects to the biggest. If you studied physics, what could you do? You could help send a space mission to explore Mars. Or you could find the next amazing way to create energy with no harmless side effects and help save the planet. Or perhaps you could improve the prosthetic limbs for patients who have lost arms or legs through accident or illness. Or perhaps design a battery for an electric car which is small and could go from Cambridge to Scotland without the need to refuel. What would you study if you took GCSE Physics? As we said, we look at a wide range of things from the very small, like the structure of the atom, to the very large, like a star and its life history from birth to black hole. You will also learn about things that affect your everyday life, such as how seatbelts prevent injury in a crash and how the stopping distances are worked out in the highway code. You will understand that infrared waves are essentially the same as X-rays and light waves but have very different properties. You will be able to explain why a prism can break white light up into different colours and how the lenses in your eyes and in people's glasses work. The delivery of electricity to your house via the national grid is on the spec, as well as simple electrical circuits and the safety features of a mains plug. You will learn about static electricity and will be able to do this simple experiment to make a stream of water bend for yourselves. You will be able to understand why a glass full of water can be turned upside down and the water does not come out, just held in by a simple postcard. You'll learn about this when you study atmospheric pressure. Falling objects and parachute design is also on the spec, but this is hardly going to affect you every day. These are just a few of the examples of how physics is everywhere in your life, and by studying physics you can understand them better. Frequently asked questions. How much work is involved in studying physics GCSE? There is a lot to learn. We would expect your attendance at lessons to be close to 100%. We would expect you to make up time lost due to absence for whatever reason. We would expect you to do at least an hour a week outside lesson time, which you would use for either completing sides, doing some revision or past GCSE questions. Does practical work count towards the final mark? Not directly. The exam board sets certain experiments which they can ask questions on in the theory papers, as well as questions on practical techniques, and you will be given an opportunity to do all the experiments. Some experiments are simple, as this one on density, and can be done at home. Others require more expensive materials or are more complicated, we will do those in your centre. Are there different tiers in GCSE physics? Yes, like maths and the other sciences, there is a foundation tier and a higher tier. Usually students take the foundation tier as the content is slightly smaller and the questions are asked in a more straightforward manner. You can gain a grade five by taking the foundation tier. How difficult is the maths? Physics is often thought to be the hardest of the three sciences because of the maths content. At foundation level, the maths content is just below that required for foundation maths. For the higher tier, it is just above the requirement for foundation GCSE maths. The important maths skills in physics are being able to solve an equation. But at foundation level, you will not have to rearrange the equation. And secondly, being able to get the gradient and intercept from a graph. It is true that physics has less written work than some of the other sciences, but slightly more maths. 30% of the marks on a physics GCSE paper are maths related. 
Are there loads of equations to learn? There are a few, but many are given to you. Which exam board do you use? AQA. How many exams? As the other sciences, there are two exams, each worth 100 marks. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to contact me, either directly or through your link mentor. I look forward to seeing you explore physics with me next year.